Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for staying on the channel. Uh, now, I want us to look at, uh, you know, uh, self-holding circuit indication. Okay, so we need to learn how to indicate uh, how you're going to wire your panel lights on the self-holding circuit. Now, self-holding circuit, we all know, uh, it's used in so many situations, okay? Uh, it's the same as uh, direct online starter, which is used uh, in uh, in motors. Uh, Self-holding circuit, uh, you know, we use it to control uh, like street lights, even your security lights. Okay, it, uh, you can you know use it to run your compressor. So there are so many things, heaters, uh, boilers. So there are so many things that uh, this self-holding circuit can use even in most cases if you want uh, to automate like you want to automate your extraction funds you can use the same circuit it's just a matter of twisting uh, and changing the modes but uh, the concept is the same all right so right here I have my load here which is uh, a fan and then I have uh, an overload here and a contactor which typically will control our fan here okay now on this box here i where our control lies so we have a stop and a start okay we all know what a self-holding circuit is okay so we have lights here so what i want to achieve in this circuit is if you start this circuit and you press start the run light has to go on and if you stop this light has to go on and if you uh, i mean if the circuit trips this light has to be on so that help you to show you the status of uh your circuit imagine having uh this device here incorporated in the box like this without anything that is enclosed so you don't know what is taking place uh the circuit trips and you don't know you know if the circuit has tripped you have to open you know uh, the panel to check inside so having uh indication on the panel it's really really vital and also in addition we have an e-stop an e e on this control box here so you see we have run stop trip we have e-stop and uh we have the stop start i also show you if you want to add an e-stop light i also show you how to do that but first let us uh, draw a sketch here and we see how you can connect all this all right okay so we are going to begin with an L here okay and then this L this L will go through uh, our breaker let us draw this to denote our breaker so maybe it could be a fuse right now from there I want us to go through our e stop, all right, because we have our e stop right there. So, so that's our e stop, it's denoted by uh, normally closed, okay. Now, from our e stop, we'll From our stop, we'll go ahead and uh, go to our overload, okay? So our stop will be like that. All right, now here, we'll go ahead and do now the stop button, all right? From the stop button, we'll enter the start button. And then uh, we have our coil here, okay? All right, so we have our e stop right here. We have our overload, we have stop, start, and a coil. Now, down here, this will be our neutral and that coil. Okay, so let us do this. So, that's the self holding circuit, complete self holding circuit. All right, now remember. We had a run, we had a stop, and we had a trip. So we begin with a run uh, indication, okay? 
So if you want to do a run, because you want the moment this uh, circuit energizes, okay? The moment this circuit energizes, then we get our light on, all right? We want the moment the circuit energizes. So this is what we'll do. So we can either take it from here, the light, but we can take it from here. We can take another normally, normally, uh, normally open here, like this, and then we can put our light here, all right? Let me use another color so we can put our light here. Okay. Then this will be a neutral. Okay. So, because if you press start and this contact energizes, this contact will close and our light will be on. Okay. Now, if we go ahead, we want to do the stop because now this is the run okay so this is the run will light when your this will light when your uh when your your load is on or when your pump is running or your motor okay so we can go ahead and see so here we are doing normally closed okay So neutral. So this this one will be now stop. Okay. So this will be stopped simply because uh, if this circuit is not activated, because we have already our voltage up to here, so definitely this light will be on, will glow. Okay, because this is closed. But if you close here, if you press start, okay. Then this will open, this will, uh, you know, will go off, and then this one turn on because now normally open will be closed. Okay? So that's how um, it works. Okay? Now let us see uh, this uh, overload. Now remember, with the overload, we have two contacts. You remember, on overload, you can have, uh, you know, you have contacts on overload, which is open. And then you have uh, closed. So which is, I think, open. You have 95, 96. Then you have 97. You have 98. Like that. Okay. And these are linked. So it's a coil. All right. So usually this is the circuit you're using. Okay. Uh, here when you're doing your, your control. So your control will use this circuit, the, the, this normally closed such that when it trips, it opens the circuit. That's what happens here, okay? All right, now, because we have this normally open contact, this is what we use to, to, to connect our trip light, okay? All right, so this is what we are going to use, okay? Like that, and now this will be a new top. Okay, so because you did that, this one usually you can get it. This supply you can get it here. Okay, so uh, I hope you get it. So, meaning here, if you press the emergency button, the entire circuit will de-energize. Okay? If you activate it, the circuit will be on. Now, when you press, this is uh, here, this is uh, stop, and then this is uh, start. Okay? So, that's how you show, uh, you do... Uh, panel indication that's the simple circuit to that so back to our circuit you can pause the video okay now uh, I explained something on the board so I hope uh, you understood all right so 
E, if I press my start uh, here, okay. If I press my start here, you see that our pump or our load uh, start to run. So if I dim some light here, you realize that this light is on. If I stop, the light goes off, and here this light goes on. It's not that bright, but you, you are able to see it. So if I start, blue will, uh, will switch off, see? And you have green on for run. So you understand the status of your circuit now. You really know that this is, uh, the pump is running, even if, because you might have the control near you, but the pump is in the field. You cannot see it. What you want to know is the pump running so you can look at it because you trust your control. Okay. Now, if you ever find the red light, so let us try to trip this circuit because I'm using an overload here. So I've tripped the circuit and our trip light has gone on. Okay. So if you see your pump is not working, uh, you're like, hmm. So you look, you look at your control circuit, you see that the trip light is on and you find out the problem why the, why the pump tripped. You solve it and then you reset. So when you press the reset button here, the light will go off and it means that the system is ready uh, to run. Now about the e-stop, e-stop kills the entire circuit. Now your pump is running. For some reason, there is any problem, you press this, okay? And then the circuit goes off okay so if you look at uh if you look at our connection here you realize this is our e-stop this is our start button a stop button start and then the three lights here okay so we connect all the neutral together the way you saw in an image it's always good to use connectors in your circuit because it gives you a room of uh, you know, running your wire neatly and without confusing anything. You know, if these wires, each one were just connecting to to the part, then it would have been a mess. But at least here, each light, it has got a slot in the connector. Okay, so it becomes easier uh, that way. So I hope you understood. So the most, really, really the most important thing is the circuit that we drew. You could pause the video, look at that circuit and try it out. Okay. So thank you very much uh, for watching. I really appreciate you for being here uh, on Electrica. Please don't forget uh, to subscribe, to like and share. And if what we do uh, you enjoy, please consider uh, joining our membership. Uh, it's it help us to run uh, the channel. And um, it's just a small amount of money. If you click, you can uh, check out that. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'm out.